think we've seen in the last few weeks how quickly information can spread through the technology in the Middle East, uh, in Egypt, and even though the government uh, cut off uh, uh, internet access, there's so many alternative ways, and young people figure a way to get around anything. You tell them not to do something, and they'll find out a way to do it. We started the Northeast Media Literacy Conference uh, nine years ago, and it's uh, been running, been successful ever since, and we attract people from all over the, the Northeast and the nation and internationally. This year, we're especially uh, thrilled because uh, the uh, State Department in Washington is, has selected us to bring 23 international media leaders from 23 different nations that will be at our conference on March 25th. And uh, they represent uh, journalists, teachers, uh, government people. We'll have 15 workshops and two keynote speakers, uh, Renee Hobbs, who wrote uh, a groundbreaking um, a white paper for uh, the Knight, Knight Commission <clears throat> about uh, a blueprint for media literacy in the future. She'll be a keynote speaker. Husky. The second keynote speaker is Mark, Mark Prensky, and um, he's internationally known as well as a writer and author. He's been involved in, in uh, uh, work with, uh, with technology and workshops are, are meant to help uh, the people attending to see how, how wide the range is of possibilities. They can, media literacy can fit in community organizations, school programs, um, youth prevention programs, um, uh, and so forth. But uh, uh, so we have quite a, a wide range getting into the recent technology and how kids have used it or can use it, how teachers can use it more effectively. One, it will give uh, some very specific ideas of ways in which you can work with young people to help them become more aware of the impact of the media upon their lives and uh, give them uh, people ideas of how they can work with kids and uh, also to share. Um, sometimes when you're in kind of a frontier field, uh, it's important to meet with other people to share informally uh, what they're doing and to, to get support and get ideas. One of the things that we try to show is how media literacy can fit into all areas of the curriculum so it doesn't have to be a separate subject. And uh, you don't have to be concerned about motivation of young people because the media is so much a part of their lives that you can capitalize on their interest in this and incorporate it very easily into various areas of the curriculum.